that almost every single freaking day on the PlayStation 1. I mean, I get it, um, the, the PlayStation 1 is not the best port for Capcom vs SK. I believe it was the... Wait. There's a new Atelier game?! You're looking forward to the newest entry in the Atelier series, featuring a brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some more headlines. We're getting a new Atelier game? In these Nintendo Switch games. What's up dudes, AJ here. Apparently, we got an update in regards to the latest Atelier series titled Atelier Yumiya, The Alchemist of Vermis, and The Aim Vision Lamb. And from what I understand, there was a live stream where they revealed more details regarding this new Atelier series. Um, to be honest, I was kind of surprised that Koei Tecmo and Gus announced a new Atelier series in general. Because considering the fact that they released a mobile game titled Atelier Wrestler Rihanna that didn't grab my attention, even though Ryza is in it. And I'm kind of hoping that this new Atelier series is as good as Atelier Ryza, if not better. Because Atelier Ryza is the game that gave the Atelier series worldwide recognition. So without wasting any other time, let's fire this thing up and see what this new Atelier series has in store for us. ユミヤの後に追憶の錬金術師と幻想の地を発表させていただきました。海外のファンの皆様からもたくさんのご反響をいただきありがとうございます。本日はユミヤの後についてさらなる情報をお届けしたいと思います。アブリディスイズのディス
ユミヤのアトリエは記憶と向き合い迷いながらも信じる道を進むユミヤたちの物語です今回の物語は大会の向こうのとある大陸が舞台となりますかつて、so、国国国国国国国という国が存在し錬金術によって他国を寄せ付けないほどの発展を遂げたといいますしかし突然発生した謎の天変地異によって帝国は崩壊人を寄せ付けない地へと変化してしまいましたそれがどんな天変地異だったのか一体何が原因だったのかそれらは現在においても謎のままです主人公の弓矢です弓矢は幼い頃に起きたとある事故によって母を亡くしましたが、私は母が錬金術師だったことを知りました。錬金術師であることを隠していた母の真意と、禁じられた錬金術の真実を探るために旅に出ます。弓矢以外に貴族出身の調査団騎士や、その妹、I assume these are the five、um, other playable characters. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 物語を進める鍵になったり、戦闘や探索で活用できます。Same, same concept as エティリアライザー。調合とは、錬金術によって、いくつかの材料を。Okay, apparently the synthesis、uh, system is entirely different from エティリアライザー from the way I see。フィールド上でも、材料に宿るマナーをやる。略式調合を行うことができます。Okay, so the synthesis is, is different compared to エティリアライザー。ハウジングも新しく追加されました。さまざまな要素が詰まったアトリエの新作にぜひご期待ください。Now, I want to see how the combat works. ここで最新のゲーム映像もご用意しましたので、海外のファンの皆様にお見せしたいと思います。ま OK、We got gameplay footage。これでよし。She's using a gun? She's using a one as a gun. Okay. Okay, this. Okay, in terms of exploration, this is the. It really gives giving up a Televesa t r e e vibes. And did she just perform a double jump? Dude, even, even Ryza couldn't perform a double jump, okay? But then again, the, the, she's performing a, a special boost that, that allows her to perform a double jump. Okay. Okay, is it. Okay, so is the combat turn based or is it action oriented? I'm kind of curious. Okay, the synthesis、uh, is definitely different. It's definitely different. The synthesis is definitely different. There's even animation for when, while she's performing the synthesis. Sleeveless? Oh, she hot. She hot. But I won't be surprised if this outfit is.、Um, Pre purchase or something like that. This is like how they did it with Atelier Ryza Tree. Where Ryza's、um, coatless outfit is only available during pre purchase. And this animation over here is literally the same as Atelier Ryza Tree. Okay, 
Okay, this is new. This building system is entirely new. So she's using... She's literally creating a new building. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, she's literally creating a, a building using alchemy. Well, that's kind of neat. Where you can build your own atelier as how you see fit. Compared to Ryza Tree. Yeah, you can literally build a, your own um, atelier from scratch. Yeah, like I said, I think the Atelier series got worldwide recognition because of, um, of the Atelier... Of, because of Atelier Raisa. Yeah, あの、アトリエシリーズ and they, they already announced the um, announced the the, uh, the release date for Atelier Yumiya, which is on uh, March 31st of next year. Early purchase bonus, Atelier of Memories. I believe this is her coatless outfit for Yumiya. And then we have uh, another outfit for Flammy. I don't know which character it is. And a unique equipment as well. Okay, I have no idea what it is, but available for a limited time within the physical or digital purchase of the game during the first week after release. Bonus will be available to download from digital so fun. May become available for purchase or distribution at a later date. Here's the thing. In Atelier Riser 3, Riser's coatless outfit was only available during the early purchase bonus. But as for in Atelier Riser 1 and Atelier Riser 2, despite the her coatless outfit was available in some other ways. So I'm really hoping that in Atelier Ryza 3 and in Atelier Yumiya, even though the early purchase bonus is already over, people will manage to find a way to purchase to get their hands on the early purchase bonus costume in some other way possible. It can be free or it can be paid. Okay, as for the for Atelier Yumiya itself, right? I just hope that this Atelier Yumiya game is as good as Atelier Riser, the Atelier Riser series in general, if not better. Because this is uh, just my personal opinion. The Atelier series, despite the fact it got worldwide recognition, partly because of, uh, of Riser's popularity, it's still a niche game in general it's still a, it's still niche i mean not gonna lie the the world exploration it really gives up the fire that gives up the fire that i'm really reminds me of the atelier Riser's atelier Riser 3 the world i'm pretty sure the world exploration is as good as um, atelier Riser 3 in general and uh, the the way she performed a double jump like that's that well that's me and yeah even the the way that uh, we gather the we gather the the materials is literally the same way as Atelier Riser 3. Okay, and here's my question. Is the combat turn based or is it very action oriented? So I think strike arts, rapid fire, burst step. I'm pretty sure these are the, the, the combos after you perform a normal attack. Oh my. Yeah. And where is the normal attack button as a matter of fact? Uh, L1, R1, flee, items, R1. Defend, L2, okay. So... So, okay, so this is the... 
Oh, so you can switch between um, skills and items. Okay. And apparently, there's a. Once you switch to. Okay, now it's skill. She's still using skill. And then when she press the, the R1 item, it. There's a. Apparently, there's a cooldown. But still, that. But that doesn't answer the question whether the. The battle system is still turn based or is very action oriented? Because what's really holding back uh, the Atelier series is that it's turn. That the fact it's turn based. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying turn based is bad in general. What I'm saying is that if they manage to find a way to make a turn based game as interactive as possible, then that's completely fine. Otherwise, you might as well make an RPG game that is very action oriented in order to make the players as a, make them as engaging to the game as possible. So from the look of this, you can switch between um, items and skills. And yeah, from the look of things, right? The wish this is probably this is probably going to be confusing for new players because. The synthesis system in this game is totally different from Atelier Rise Up from the way I see it. It's totally different. And as a matter of fact, right, even once she's done with the, the synthesis, there's an animation once the, her synthesis is over. This is something entirely new because in, in the Atelier Rise game, she doesn't really have an animation like this at all. I, I will say this. And not gonna lie, her her colorless outfit looks sexy AF, I will say this. And hold on a second, she can perform sim simple synthesis outside during exploration? Regu hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Regular ammo, um... So apparently, the, the, she can gather materials using a uh, ranged weapon which is entirely different so i'm kind of curious is is this her own is this her own way of um, gathering materials well that's very interesting to say the least even this animation right over here right it really it really reminds me of atelier Rizati where she's going from one place to another using the same time it's literally the same animation so Safe to assume that Atelier they really take elements from Atelier Ryza 3 and they try to make it better. So I'm really once again I really hope that this new Atelier game is as good as the Atelier Ryza series in general. I mean I um uh, in terms of Bob I'm I think he, I think it's as, it's as good as Atelier Ryza 3. But what I really hope that in terms of the, the story and in terms of the combat, I hope it's and hopefully it's better than Atelier Ryza series in general. Because to me, what is really holding back the Atelier series from be getting or from being a niche game is the fact that it's uh, a turn-based game and the storytelling. Because to me, even though I'm kind of like at three quarter of um, Atelier Ryza 3 as of this very moment, the character interaction Atelier Ryza series is good. But the main story itself is kind of like, uh, I'm not really feeling it to be with you guys. So I'm hoping that in terms of the, the storytelling, I hope it's as good as uh, the Atelier Ryza series in general, if not better. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys like this up, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video and feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on this new Atelier series called Atelier Yumia. The new character, um, I believe her name is Yumia. Her character design, um, what, are your thoughts, what are your expectations on, on the story? Uh, in terms of world flow ex exploration, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's as good as um, Atelier Ryza 3. But I really hope that the storytelling and the character interaction is as good as Atelier Ryza 3 in general. Leave a comment down below because I'm really curious what are your thoughts on this Atelier Junior in general. So, and I really hope that it's, it gets 
is as popular as Atelier Reza, if not much more popular. But still, regardless, to me, Atelier Reza will forever have a special place in my heart. In my heart. And as a matter of fact, right, I, uh, Atelier Re I spent like what? Atelier Reza 1 and Atelier Reza 2 about 200 to hours in total for both for both games and I even platinum go those games as a matter of fact. As for Atelier Reza 3, I think I might be platinum I might platinum the game because so far I really enjoy Atelier Reza 3 but what but I have a few criticisms about the game but I think I'll just leave the my review on Atelier Reza 3 or in another video since um, right now we're having a conversation about uh, Atelier Yuvenia. Anyway, I think that's pretty much um, what I can talk about uh, Atelier Yuvenia. I'll definitely really keep an eye on this game without a shadow without, but whether I'll be playing this game on day one, hmm, I'll, I'll think about it. Hopefully, hopefully the, 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 the um, I get we get more gameplay because I'm still kind of uh, confused on uh, regarding the the, 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 game, the combat section whether it's whether they has this, they're still sticking with the turn-based concept or they're going full of action. Anyway, uh, my name is AJ and I will see you guys in the next video.